In this week's Journey to Greatness, we hear from former running back Marcus Dupree. He took the college football world by storm back in 1982. Marcus Dupree rushed for 1,393 yards and 12 touchdowns as a freshman for the Oklahoma Sooners. But his legend began in the small town of Philadelphia, Mississippi. In 1981, he scored his 87th career rushing touchdown, which was the national high school record at the time. At that time, Philadelphia, Mississippi was only about 5,000 people. So uh, I had that many pe people at practice at Oklahoma. <laughs> so, uh, but no, it's a small town. Everybody know everybody. It's a sports town. People love sports there. And my best memory is just my friends that I grew up with. We grew up since kindergarten together. You know, in Philadelphia, being a small town, you got, you got to play all sports. So I was in the band, I was in baseball, I ran track, I played basketball. So just the best memories for me is just being able to do all that stuff with your best friends and you sit around and talk about it and look back over and say, man, that was a great time, let's go do it again. Dupree was recently honored by the National High School Football Hall of Fame for his prep career. He was part of an inaugural class that included Jim Brown, Archie Griffin, and Peyton and Eli Manning. To be able to be going with people like Jim Brown, Archie Manning, Peyton Manning, even though I know them all my life, their mom is from Philadelphia, Mississippi, which is ironic and, and good too. And, and um, but just to be in the first class, there should never be a first class if you know. So that's most special to me. And being the first class for a National High School Hall of Fame and being up here in Canton and being able to say, Mama, I made it and to Canton, so I'm here. Dupree would deal with injuries after that breakout freshman year at Oklahoma, but he would have a brief pro career. Spent a couple seasons in the USFL and then spent two seasons with the Los Angeles Rams. Whatever he's done in life, though, he appreciates the lessons he learned playing football. He just teaches about life. I think football, when I speak to kids, I talk about patience in the process. And it's a process when you play in life and in the game of football. You may be up 50 points in the first quarter. Next quarter, you might get be getting beat by 20 again. So, you know, it's just, it's just how you accept it and how you deal with it. And saw the problem. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.